selfies on sets and selfie bombs on sets. Welcome to Chef It Up. I'm Ayanthea Smith, and of course, we're here in the IL TV studios. And in my kitchen, once again, we have Chef Jamal Petty. You like my company, don't you? Oh, I thought, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Love, Stumbling over words and stuff. Yeah, she makes me blush. I try not to, you know. What are we making here today? Well, today <laughs> is all about the balls. Trust me, yes, believe it. If you love balls, you would love this episode today because what we're going to be making is... Please tell me you're talking about meatballs. Yes. Good. <laughs> what, what, I mean, what else? We so, hold on, wait. Is, are you making spaghetti and meatballs today? Well, we're going to make a, the traditional Italian... My absolute spaghetti favorite. Spaghetti and, and meatballs. You're going to feel like you're in Italy or Romania or somewhere Good. like that. And then we're also going to make um, some chocolate salted truffles. Ah. Um, this, I think we're taking an ambitious journey today. So both of us, we're going to have to really be cooking and pull this off. So okay. what to do, uh, we're going to start with these um, tomatoes. Mm -hmm. We have some nice peeled tomatoes. Mm -hmm. And what you're going to do, you're going to squish them. Oh, yeah, right in Yeah, we're not going to cut them, not going to chop right them. Right in here. Mm -hmm. And... That is so that we could make our basic tomato sauce. Now, anywhere in Italy, you would find either a tomato sauce, uh -huh. a ragu, or maybe a bechamel or cream sauce. That's like two of the staples in Italian cooking. And why are we starting with the sauce? Because that, we're, we're gonna have to let that simmer for about okay. 20 minutes. So I'm just like squeezing everything out of air. Yeah, you wanna get like nice little rough, chunky pieces in there. Okay. So that, um, so that you can have a little bit of a texture in the spaghetti. Okay, perfect. As opposed to that plain, blended, uh, you know, small. Yeah. All right. And I, I, won't, I won't lie, but I love, I absolutely love spaghetti, homemade spaghetti and meatballs. I make this as often as I possibly can because it's just so comforting, you know? Mm -hmm. that, that, is, that is comfort food yeah, at, at its best because I'll tell you what, like some people there are of the impression that when they eat Italian food, it's food that was developed by some great chefs, but yeah. actually, Italian food is like food of grandmas. Mm. You know, that's like your Grammy making the pieces yeah. and dumplings. Yeah, it's like real old school, and it uh -huh. takes you back to your younger days. Right, Rustic. Like that's what spaghetti and meatball does for me. Mm-hmm, and that's not like that canned stuff. When you so am I breaking it, these up as well? Yes. Okay, good. You can break it up. That so good. it could be in like little pieces that we could put on forks. Okay, good. So, okay. we got some olive oil. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna start with that. Now, some parts of Italy, they use olive oil, some use butter, but um, um, olive oil, it just gives you that wonderful shine in the sauce. Okay. It gives it a little bit of flavor as well. Nice. So, okay, so while you're breaking those up, we have the onions in the pot, the carrots in the pot, and of course, garlic. Cause- uh, I love garlic. Garlic just enhances every dish. Yeah, man. And it wouldn't really be Italian without garlic in it, believe yeah. me. That's like one of the three building blocks of Italian cooking. So I have a question. Do you usually cook with anyone in your kitchen or do you like to like kind of be by yourself when you're chefing it up and cooking? Well, you know, um, I think I like, for some reason, I like an audience. Oh yeah? Yeah, because every time I step to the stove, it's like something stellar and exciting that's gonna take place. That somebody has to see, right? Yeah, somebody's gonna have to like appreciate that and be like, oh wow, yeah. Jamal, you're awesome. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's what I usually get when I cook. You're awesome. Yeah, mm -hmm. or when I sing. Night, when you're singing. You you did tell me one time that you love to sing and cook. Yeah, when I was But not small. once have you sang when you were in my kitchen. I need you to sing for me. Listen, I had a beautiful voice until I hit puberty. Then after that, you know, my whole... Well, let's see what post-puberty left you with. Are you sure? But I am positive. Listen, when I used to sing, they used to just like, they stopped me from singing in school because girls didn't know how to act. Like, oh. I'm not kidding. Let me see. Let me, let me test that theory. You sure you're ready for this? Go for it. Okay. Uh -huh. The next one. Teacher. Girl, I want to make you sweat. Sweat till you can't sweat no more. And if you cry out, I can't, can't do it. <laughs> Even, <laughs> no, not Don't get it. shy now, that was really good. I, 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 I just had a good old school favorite, you know, mm -hmm. from my primary school days. Take, take me back a little bit. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, so what's going on over here? Our carrots are carrots, onions, onions, and yes. garlic with a little bit of olive oil. You got that going. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. My, I think my tomatoes are done. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. And we're gonna add a little bit of thyme. A little bit of thyme. And that is gonna begin to caramelize a little bit. And what that means is basically, I want some of the uh, the sugars and stuff to come uh -huh. out of the onion and out of the carrot. Okay. To get all up in the pan there. And once that starts to brown. Then we'll add the tomatoes. Now the tomatoes are pretty cool. I use um, whole tomatoes that I squish with my hands. Some people squish it with their toes. We're not gonna do that today. <gasps> but that, I guess that's the literal version of putting your foot in it, eh? That's when the food is being really good. <laughs> so I don't mind that. Once I don't know that it happened, <laughs> just let it taste that way. Oh man, I, <laughs> what's the fair? Okay, this is, all right. Well, this is another uh, tomato. This is some, uh -huh. some pureed tomato. Okay. See, if you only have one set of tomato inside your home, like you ain't serious about tomato sauce. Mm. So you want to get a bit of both. And we we'll let these sweat down. And as this cooks, mm -hmm. what I'll do, we'll add both the, the some of the crushed tomatoes uh -huh. and some of the puree okay. in there. Okay, so you want me to bring this over? Well, I'll bring it over closer, yeah. You could bring okay. that over here. And then we'll get into some more of this ambitious stuff we're gonna do today. Perfect. Because this, this is a lot good. of cooking, like no joke. This, what's your favorite part of the kitchen? For me, like the scents, mm -hmm. it just smells so good. The like, smell? Yeah. Well, listen, I know That's a my lot favorite of chefs. Part. They, they're, they, they, they're home and they're like, you know, we have like a chef cologne. When I come in the house, the whole house smells like food. Yeah. The, the bed smells like food. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. it, it gets all up in your pores. But as a chef, like I'm no chef, but when I like when I'm home and I cook, mm -hmm. by the time as I'm done cooking and it's time to eat, I'm not hungry anymore. Oh, I don't have that problem. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, Chef Jamal. Okay, so we have uh, all the makings going now for our homemade spaghetti and meatballs with our salty chocolate truffle balls. <laughs> this is Chef It Up. Chocolate salty we'll balls. We'll be right back. Vegas is closer than you think. Visit our electrifying select locations, showcasing an amazing sportsbook playing live all the top games and races. Take advantage of all the winnings you can handle with hundreds of the newest slots and casino games. Come into Island Luck today at any of our 60 world-class locations. The ultimate gaming and entertainment experience is at Island Luck. Everyone dreams about winning the lottery, but only those who play will have the chance. Play today with Isla Love. Anyone can win big. Welcome back to Chef It Up. We're in the kitchen today making some homemade spaghetti and meatballs. And I really wish we had a smell meter on set just so you guys can get an appreciation for exactly what's going down in here. <laughs> but Chef Ed, we have our oh. tomato sauce going right that's gonna be for our spaghetti. Yes. And what we put in there, we put a little bit of onion, right. some shredded Carrot. carrots that I thought Not was cheese. cheese. <laughs> some shredded carrots. Shredded cheese. We put some garlic went in there as well. Did I see garlic? Yeah, it was garlic. Some, garlic in. some tomato sauce as well as some whole No, well that tomatoes. was some puree tomatoes. Puree tomatoes. And the whole tomatoes. And the whole tomatoes. Right. You can even put a little bit more of the puree tomatoes in there. Okay, perfect. So you, you pour. Okay, you have. Yes. It. I'll stir. Oh, okay. Great. Yeah. All right. All righty. So, yep. What I like to do sometimes also, I add uh, one of these. Now these are um, Kalamata olives. So one olive goes a long way. Uh-huh. You just drop that in there. Okay. Let it make some magic. Okay. As we go over here. Now a lot of people I know like to buy their tomato sauce like in the jar. I mm. mean, but this is fairly easy to make at home. Yeah. We're right. like almost done and we only use a couple of ingredients. Right, and now we're gonna get ready to do some kneading. So this is um, some beef, add some ground beef. What we have in the bottom of the pan, we have some, some. onions and garlic that we sweated already. Uh -huh. I like to sweat it a little bit first so that you could get, like when you squish it, uh -huh. The flavors from the onion and the garlic get into the meat okay. better than if you add the raw stuff. Okay, in there. got I don't you. Know why people do that? So you just pour this whole thing in. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Okay. And then I add some sausage. 
This is just a regular mild Italian sausage. Okay. I don't go with spicy stuff primarily because what I want is I want the flavor. Sometimes I think people use heat to mask the fact that and it does no not taste. And no skin, you guys. You saw um, he squeezed the meat yes. out of it, so no skin. No casing. Okay, so. All right, so, so you just go right in now. Okay. And she's gonna begin that kneading process. Wow, that's awesome. You do this, like, on the side? I... I give you a side job. <laughs> Sous chef. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh. Okay, now she does that. One second. Okay. I'll sprinkle in some salt, some Parmesan cheese. Nice. Oh, I love it. Yes. It's gonna make it stick together and give it a nice little saltiness too. I we love how cooking kind of incorporates all of your senses, your mm -hmm. feel, your mm -hmm. sights, your smells, of course, the taste. And this again is a beautiful date night thing because you can imagine you and your um, significant other, your home making meatballs. Yeah, this is so cool. And what I do, of course, to make it a little bit Caribbean, we're gonna add like a little tiny pinch of jerk, jerk seasoning. Like all of the Italian people just turn the TV off right now. And you're, you're not gonna <laughs> be cool like, with this. No, no. Oh my God. No, <laughs> but no. then again, this goes with the effusions, right? Yes, yes. Exactly. And what it does, it helps to build flavors into the to the meatball. Now, this is a, a little bit of a steak sauce. Now, funny enough, this could make the perfect meatloaf even. Is that Worcestershire? <laughs> what's, it, what's it called? Worcestershire. Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> sauce? That's what that is? No, that's what this is. Ah, it's coming. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Worcestershire. I know I just oh, cursed, yeah. but you may have. <laughs> may have, yeah. Okay. okay, so this is a good little right. base going on so here. So now it's a little bit moist, so we're gonna add some breadcrumbs. Okay. Now, now the trick with the breadcrumbs is kind of this. Let me let me get in there. Here's the trick with the breadcrumbs. In in uh, American meatballs, they use less. Okay. You want like a, a, a beef that is probably like 80% lean, 20% fat to give you a nice mm -hmm. meat, moist meatball. And then the pork also helps. Okay. But the Italians, they add a little bit more. And what happens is, I, I don't know if it was, at, when they did it, they did it with, with the intent to stretch it out a little bit. Yeah. But what ended up happening as a, as a byproduct, the, the bread became like a bit of a filler and it absorbs all of the flavors uh -huh. from the sauce and from the meat. So what you ended up having is a much more yummy, delicious meatball. So this is our this is our meat for the balls that we're gonna make. And of course we used ground beef, we used a little bit of the pork from the sausage, we used some Parmesan cheese, we mm -hmm. used onions and garlic, one egg I saw you put in there, right. jerk sauce, steak mm -hmm. sauce, and the Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. <laughs> and so I'm just kneading this Kneading this all together right here. Okay, so a little sprinkle of parsley. A little bit of parsley. And let's make our balls. Okay, it's fairly easy. Yeah, and just like that. Ah. That is, wow, that's, oh, that's amazing. That's the best meatball I've seen all day. Now you drop it because I'm afraid. Yeah, okay. Oh, it doesn't pop as much. Oh, uh -uh. Okay, so cool. So we're just gonna take these and just, I guess, pinch off a little bit, a uh, little bit of hair in there, and just roll them in the palm of my hand, eh? Right. And then what they do, you just take them and you brown them a little bit in the pan, so that it gets that nice little caramelly color. And then you take it from the pan, and notice she's roll rolling them kind of, like kind of small. You want them bigger? No, I don't like big balls. I like my balls nice and. Uh, kind of like a little bit bigger than a quarter. I figured a little petite size would yeah. work, you know. So they so. fit nicely on the spoon. Yeah. Or on the fork. And then also you get more. <laughs> <laughs> Feed yeah. the whole family, eh? Mm -hmm. And speaking of, this is a great family dish to make. Oh, this is, this is the family comfort food kind of dish. Like, no joke. Mm -hmm. and this so. smells really good, so. I'm right. gonna finish now, rolling my meatballs. We're gonna talk into a break right now. You're watching Chef It Up, we'll be right back. As a single professional woman, I value the sense of security Venetian West provides. Knowing that there is 24 hour security helps me sleep better at night. For us, the numbers just made sense. We were able to move into our condo for 1,300 per month. That was less than what we previously paid for rent. We were looking to downsize. Our Venetian West condo was the perfect fit. We were able to move into a fully furnished condo for $1,700 per month thanks to the furniture packages offered by Brickle Management Group. There was no hassle.
Jackpot! Anytime, anywhere. Download the app today at islandlock.com. Welcome back to Chef It Up. We are in the kitchen, as I said earlier, with Chef Jamal Petty. And we are like at the halfway mark of this amazing homemade spaghetti and meatball dish. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna throw those those uh the spaghetti in now. Okay, so a little bit of salt. Make it nice and beachy, as we often do. A little bit of olive oil. A little bit of oil. Yeah, that's, so it doesn't stick together. Well, come on, man. Need some more salt. More salt. Yeah. <laughs> but I'll just drop these in and then let them like belly dance into the hot water. Okay, perfect. Oh, and so okay. as those two are going, what do we do next? Okay, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna start on our chocolate salty. Working on dessert. Stop. Okay. All right. I was excited about this. So for the truffles, the what, what you wanna do, you wanna take some of the same cake uh -huh. and just mash it up. So of course this is pre-made. Yeah. Pre-made cake, you can of get course. Any cake, some bootleg cake, some box cake. So just mash it? Mm-hmm. You're gonna mash that up, break it up. Okay. Okay, yes. So to make the, 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 the little balls, you wanna start with that whole, either the dark chocolate, whatever chocolate cake, and that, that's gonna be the base of what it is. So this, again, makes it one of those incredibly easy, kid-friendly dishes. Yeah, and we can make this with any cake, I'd imagine. Yeah, I'm chopping some nuts. Mm -hmm. So This reminds me of Christmas. We would always have walnuts mm -hmm. on the kitchen table or on the dining room table. So this is a good treat. Now this would be a pretty cool thing. I'll chop, you, you could take it as I cut them. Okay, em. so just put them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can put them in. You're gonna say this would be a cool. Yeah, this would be a cool thing to do with some of that Christmas stuff. If you have like um, fruit cake and stuff like that, mm -hmm. believe me, that would make some incredible, incredible little balls. Nice. Because what, what you get is like different textures. You have like the silky mm -hmm. moistness of the cake and then you have this just hard crunch mm -hmm. of the walnut. So, mm -hmm. so this is good. Is this like the Hershey's Kisses with a little nut in the middle? And is like a chocolate, di uh, a chocolate dish like a good pair, a chocolate dessert dish, a good pair for like spaghetti and meatballs? Oh yeah. I see rum, what's going on here? Oh yeah, this is what makes this treat an adult treat. Look up. And <laughs> let me tell you, the, the spice rum, what it helps to do, or like this one is a dark rum, mm -hmm. what it helps to do, it helps to, oh man, it, it helps to, to, to make that, just like how some people put like coffee in their cake. Okay, To yeah. give it a nice rich mm -hmm. character. Or the, some good Baileys sometimes mm -hmm. with ice cream or something like that. Alcohols mm -hmm. usually work really well with food, but I don't think a lot of mm -hmm. people know how to pair them well, so. Alcohol works very well with chocolate. Ah. Yeah, so like when you have that fruit cake or that rum cake at home, that tastes like some alcoholic cake and you just want a can of Coke to go with it, if you cut that alcohol back just a little bit, yeah. you would have that perfect hint of spicy rum oakiness inside mm -hmm. that, um, inside the ball. Okay, good, so what are we gonna do? Okay, we're gonna just put some of that over here. Over here? Mm -hmm. My hand is heavy, so tell me when to stop. Well, I trust you. I don't want us to be stumbling out ahead of day. No, man, you drink enough of that, I'll put that enough of that in there, that'll be aphrodisiac. <laughs> More? A little bit more, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> that's fine. Yep. Alrighty, so our, I guess I'd say our ground <laughs> cake with our, we chopped up some walnuts and then we just pour in there some our dark rum. Mm -hmm. And so now what is this? We're gonna add, okay, so that, I would say that was about uh, three tablespoons of. The dark rum? You're right. Okay. And that probably could be like a half a cake. If you use maybe the cake in the box and just use mm -hmm. that, and you cut that in half, that probably should be about half of that. Okay, perfect. So we'll use about, I would say, three quarter of a can of condensed milk. Let's oh. see what happens. I used to eat this straight out of the can uh -huh. as a child, yes. So mix this together? Uh huh. Well, okay. I think what, what was cool was one time I used to sell, I, sell, I sold uh, breakfast. Really? I had one of those like 99 cent vans. <laughs> Mine was like $3, but I had one of the vans nonetheless. Yeah, a 99 cent stand breakfast place that sells breakfast is $3, right? Right. <laughs> and and what, what was the funny thing that, ooh, that is ooh, nice and this rummy. This is rum -y. oh my goodness. <laughs> we'll into the it next smells one so ones. good. I think mm -hmm. I may have put too much rum, but I think I'm gonna like that. No, it's never too much rum. <laughs> I made some earlier as well, so you could probably this is what they look like after they set up in the fridge for a minute. Oh, so these go right in the fridge. Oh, so we could put that on the but side. But not long at all. Huh? But not long at all. No. A minute, literally? 
No, I would say for about 10 minutes. Oh. Maybe you can add a little bit more cake to get it a little bit drier. Okay. But this is moving so fast. I, wow. We're gonna have to do some serious plating. So okay. let me take that from you. Please, so no more rolling, okay. No more rolling for now. <laughs> Everything is happening so fast. My hands are a mess, but that's fine. So it smell good. You can wash them. <laughs> So our pasta spaghetti. Our spaghetti is done. It looks I'll great. Just take that and put that on the I side. I like that it's not dry. Right. Now, what we're gonna do with this, we'll take a little bit of the sauce, mm -hmm. and you can spoon a little bit of that on there. Okay, just the sauce, no mm -hmm. meat is yet? No meat is yet. Let's just put the sauce in first. Okay. And let me just pour the rest of this is out so good? it doesn't overcook. I have a secret. What's you that? know when I'm making spaghetti, for some reason I always put sugar in my tomato sauce. Sugar? Uh-huh. Oh, well, I'll tell you what. You know what is a cool thing to put in the tomato sauce? What? This is something that I do that I, I, you know, I hardly tell people that I do. Like some people put, just hold on a second. I put a little bit of sour cream. Ah. Some people put milk. At least Italians, they put milk. And what it does, it helps to smoothen off the sauce and make it okay. nice and... More creamy and, mm -hmm. and less choppy. Right, and, uh, and again, because tomatoes are acidic, it helps to, to balance out the rest mm -hmm. of the flavors that's in the sauce. So, what we can do... Alrighty, so let's just get this going then. We're almost at the end, almost at my favorite part of the show, the taste mm -hmm. test. We will be right back. This is Chef It Up. As a single professional woman, I value the sense of security Venetian West provides. Knowing that there is 24-hour security helps me sleep better at night. For us, the numbers just made sense. We were able to move into our condo for $1,300 per month. That was less than what we previously paid for rent. We were looking to downsize. Our Venetian West condo was the perfect fit. We were able to move into a fully furnished condo for $1,700 per month, thanks to the furniture packages offered by Brickle Management Group. There was no hassle. Jackpot! Anytime, anywhere. Download the app today at islandlock.com. And a welcome back to Chef It Up. Of course, it is taste test time. Chef Petty and I just whipped up some homemade spaghetti and meatballs, and I'm ready to dig in. Okay, you know what? We just about there. Like okay. 10 seconds away. What's next? What I would do, we bring the spoon. Uh -huh. I'll tear a little bit more of the basil on the top of there. Mm -hmm. So is Basically, that good right there? That is perfect. Okay, good. Okay, so while, while this is like that, nice and hot and delicious, we just slide that through. Uh -huh. See the little pieces in there, you see that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't get that in the can. <laughs> exactly, you don't right. get all of this in the can. The onions, the tomatoes, the garlic. You add a little bit of cheese to that. A fresh cheese. Yes, some um, Parmigiano Reggiano. So this is how you're gonna, you're gonna go ahead Grab up a nice bunch of that, and Dish. you could bring the, oh my God. That's okay, I'm gonna that, eat it anyway. Yep. No, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, perfect. Mm, bellissimo, Some, whatever that means. <laughs> I hope that wasn't a bad word. I hope not. You know what, I'm a meat lover, and every time I go to the sides, no man, on the top. And every right. time I go mm -hmm. for food and people gotta serve like meatballs and stuff like this, I'm like, why are you counting out only four? Like, how do you know <laughs> I didn't want five or six? Like, I love meat. Oh, you do? What? Yeah. That's, 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 um, that's the thing. That's the thing. I think that we go for the spaghetti, uh -oh. but we They're go. rolling off, but that's fine, eh? That's fine. Okay, one for good luck. What? Hopefully this one stays. Ta-da! Nice. And we can set that over here ah. while we put our balls together. And you'll see why I call them that in a minute. They look really good. This looks like, mm -hmm. they look real decadent and moist and you know. That's that deliciousness. Yeah. So now what I'm doing here, this is a little bit of that um, um, guava duff sauce. Oh, guava duff so, sauce. You yeah. see. So let's just smear a little bit to the bottom. Oh, y'all and y'all, gosh. Mm -hmm. Tell me if I do this See, right. this is indulgence now. Uh, if I could make like a guava duff toothpaste, I would. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, one there, cool. 
Perfect. There you go. Beautiful. So I'll do the first one again. And this is really good to make too with like cake that you may have had at home for a while. Mm -hmm. And you want something interesting to do with it? Yeah. Not gonna waste it? Right, so you could literally just... You make some nice little... Uh-oh. Here, take that. Okay. It's just a little drop of salt. Oh, salt, mm -hmm. why? Because what the salt does, it, it helps to bring out that nice, beautiful flavors from the rum and from the nuts and mm -hmm. from the chocolate cake. Perfect. Nice. The chocolate. Yeah. See that? Oh, look at yeah, that. This one's for you. Why, thank you. Yeah. Okay, let's dig in now. Let's see. Uh, of course. Mmm. And you know what I didn't think about for a second? Oh, what's going on in this my life? This is so no. fresh. I think the fact that we actually made our tomato sauce actually made this 10 times better. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, and, and the fresh basil also gives it that nice little fresh clean. Exactly. So tell our viewers where they can go to get this recipe, the mm -hmm. best ingredients to use, everything they need to know about this dish while I eat. Well, where you could go, you can hit me up on Facebook. It's Jamal Petty, or you can go to Island Flag Cooking School if you want to get some recipes and stuff. Or you can email me at islandflag at gmail.com. Or you can come up to one of the pop-up dinners or pop-up events. I do them every month. Perfect. So let's just taste our dessert here before we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Woo, that was really good. This is going in my car. <laughs> I want a little bit of whipped cream on there. Mm -hmm. Just like I like them. A little bit of the guava duff sauce. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh my God. So good. That is the perfect. You see what the little salt does? That is the perfect miniature bite of chocolate. Mm -hmm. I kind of taste like ice cream in there for some reason. I think mm -hmm. it's the whipped cream. Right. The perfect taste of, I, I, I get the crunchiness from the, from from the, the nuts. walnuts. This is absolutely amazing and it does mm -hmm. complement mm -hmm. the tomato, the acidic, the acidity of the tomato over there. Yeah, man. So this I is perfect. You, this is the thing. When you turn on your stove, it should return the favor. Mm. And when you do foods like this, it makes that happen. You know, it makes it a reality. High five. Mm. Once again, an amazing, an amazing dish. And of course, as Chef Patty said, you can go to his Facebook page to find out all the details about the recipes for both of these amazing dishes. So mm -hmm. we're gonna continue to dig in. You guys, thank you so much. This has been Chef It Up. I'm Anthea Smith. We will see you next time.